This is how to make your fonts seem transparent if you're making a preview for a product. So let's pretend like this is something that I've created that I'm going to maybe sell in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. And I want to make sure that if I'm using this in my product preview that people can't use it and I'm going to put my um, stamp over it that says preview. That way people know that it's not the actual product, it's just a preview of what they can purchase. So to do that, I'm going to insert a text box and I always put it in the middle and I usually make it around 90 point and an another size that I really like to use is 110 if I'm trying to use um, up a lot of space and why is it not pretty? There we go, preview. And my favorite font is by Amy Alvis. It's called AA Claire. And I like it because it's very bold, but it's cute at the same time. And I like to turn it sideways and move it over. It's okay if it doesn't if you don't see the word preview on it the whole time. I highlight it, I right click and I click on format text. If I do format shape, it's going to do the box that's around the preview, the word preview, and we don't want that. And once I click on that, it might take a second. I want to click on text fill right over here. Text fill. And I'm going to leave the color alone. I like it black. I'm going to move this over so you can see it as it changes. And if I move this bar and I let go, do you see how it's getting lighter? It's so you can see through it. I usually do it around set anywhere between 70 and 75. I try and get it as close to 75 as possible. You can always do up and down here like this. But 75 is a really good number for transparency. And then what I do is I copy it by hitting, I, I'm using a Mac, so I'm hitting Command C and then I paste it by hitting Command V and I do it like four or five times. And then it's already set up in the right angle that I want and I just plaster that puppy all over the place so that there is no, no question that this is a preview. Just put it all over. Make sure also to insert your, your um, logo or your name. So I always do the copy symbol, and then I do the year, and my name. And then I usually put it in a cutesy font, like A.A. Claire, my favorite font. I use that on so many of my products. It just is so nice. It's such a great font. And then I put that down at the bottom so that there's no mistake in who made it and that it's a preview. If you want to see how people are going to see it, you can put, uh, click slideshow, play on current slide. And this is what it will look like for the person who maybe is purchasing it or downloading it. And I hope that helps. Happy, happy previewing.